seven new demons confirmed to appear in Doom Eternal. Starting off first, we have the Arc Veil Demon that will appear in the upcoming game, originally debuting in Doom 2, 1994. The demon appears to be a tall, thin and pale humanoid with flaming arms and hands. There is some speculation that it might be featured as a sort of mini-boss in the game. The original Arc Veil had the ability to resurrect slain demons and use fire to burn its enemies. It is currently unknown if these abilities will carry over into Doom Eternal. Next we have Arachnatron. Designed with a very similar appearance to the original Demon version from 1994, the spider-like Cybric Monster is supported by a metal chassis and a body that consists primarily of a large brain. The only big difference being that the cannon is now on top of the brain rather than below its brain. The Arachnatron can climb walls at any angle and it can jump long distance and shoot plasma. A very troublesome demon indeed. The Pain Elemental is next on our list, also originally appearing in Doom 2. The elemental has a brown spherical body, one big red eye, horns, large teeth and a mouth, and two hands with claws. The demon can shoot large fireballs from its mouth, and summon lost souls to aim at the player to cause maximum damage. The original Doom 2 instructional manual added a quote to describe the demon, and it goes like this. What a name, and what a guy. Killing him is almost as bad as letting him live. Doom Hunter, a completely new enemy introduced in Doom Eternal. Judging by its name, it most likely is created to hunt down the Doom Slayer and eliminate him for good. Not much is known about this demon. It bears some resemblance to Sabbath from Doom 3, a humanoid on threads equipped with ranged weaponry and the Strog Heavy Hoover's tank from Quake 4. The Marauder is also a completely new enemy debuting in the upcoming Doom Eternal game. The demon shares a suspiciously striking resemblance to the Doom Slayer. Its only appearance is shown in a concept image which shows it wielding the Super Shotgun and some sort of Argent Battle Axe. Its armor is very much like the Creator suit that the Demon Slayer wears, and it could point to a possible connection with the Slayer as well. The Gargoyle, called the Harpy Demon or Flying Demon by fans before the Google Stadia footage was released. A new monster newly introduced in the Doom Eternal game. Little of it was seen in the QuakeCon gameplay footage, but what is known is that it can flutter in the air and then land for terrestrial combat. It appears as a small frail humanoid with bat-like wings, fox-shaped arms and a fawn-like leg. As reported in the Google Stadia footage, it can also be seen shooting yellow fireballs at Slayer while in combat. A very interesting addition to the Demon Fray for sure. And the last but not least, the Zombie Man. Returns as a monster in Doom Eternal taking the place of the Possessed Soldier from Doom 2016. It reprises its role as an armed former human for the first time in a main series Doom game since Doom 64, with a design heavily inspired by its appearance in the game which was in return directly based on the original. Like the Possessed Soldier before it, the Zombie Man now attacks with a plasma-powered projectile-based weapon, which can either be fired off in a single shot or changed up for a slower but more powerful blast. Like all monsters in the game, the zombie man is highly mobile. He even has a jet booster which allows him to make high jumps. The zombie man seems to retain even more intelligence than its forebearers and speaks with others of its kind in a low-pitched, demonic voice. This is similar to the radio chatter used by the likewise intelligent C-Sect of Doom 3. <laughs> 